if you are considering a trip out of the country this summer and beyond, you need to talk to my next guest. I recently asked the points guy, Brian Kelly, about the high cost of European travel and options that just might be a little more affordable. I know a lot of people are hoping to go to Europe this year, but it's gotten more and more expensive to the point where it's like almost cost prohibitive. So I'm, I'm glad you're here to ask us about, I mean, to, to tell us about you know, saving some points when it comes to planning a trip to Europe. I just helped a friend today plan a flight to France. It was $8,000 in business class, but she used 100,000. Amex points transferred to Air France's flying blue program. So transfer to foreign frequent flyer programs. If you have credit card points, that can save you huge amount of money. Okay. But it is true, this summer flights to Europe are gonna be through the roof. I highly recommend avoiding Europe during peak summer, it's hot. And by the way, Europe, they don't have air conditioning like the US. So you may in a hot, crowded, expensive city. And by the way, in August, a lot of Europeans go on vacation. So if you're gonna to go to visit Paris, you might not get the Parisian experience you might get uh -huh. in the peak shoulder season. So for Europe, I really recommend the spring or fall. Of course, if you've got kids in school, I understand that. But really going in the shoulder season to popular destinations is where you're gonna find the most value. And when you save 50% on flights, that means you can spend that much more at your destination. That's a, another good point. So, okay, if I'm not going to Europe, where do I need to go in the US? Well, my favorite US destination when you wanna get away, but you don't wanna deal with passport drama is Puerto Rico. I went twice last year and I'm already planning my trip back this year. It's a really convenient flight from the US and you can find flights for $200 from a lot of different cities. And in Puerto Rico, no passport, you're flying domestic and you can be in San Juan in 10 to 15 minutes out of the airport. So you maximize your time on the beaches, They've also got rainforests and on the west coast of the island, they've got surfing in the town of Rincon. So lots to do for all types of travelers. I can't believe I've never been to Puerto Rico. I can't oh, wait to go. you gotta go, it's fabulous. I gotta go. And you, and also I know that you love the other P, Portugal. I mean, you do need a, a passport for that, but tell yes. us why you love Portugal so much. Portugal's fabulous. So I actually, in, during the pandemic, I was Googling how to get an EU passport. And Portugal has a golden visa program where you can invest in real estate, um, and so in 2021, I applied. I have to spend one week a year for five years, pass the language test, and then, you know, in 2026, I'll be eligible to become a citizen. Stop. Um, allows me to live and work anywhere in the EU. And that, that golden visa program it still exists. It recently went through some changes, but Portugal is fabulous because the North Porto and the wine country, the Douro Valley wine country is amazing. Lisbon is one of those cultural European capitals, but it's a lot less expensive than Paris. And here's my sleeper tip for Portugal, the Azores and Madeira Island. They're in the middle of the Atlantic, but on your trip home from Portugal, stop, because it's about halfway on your flight home to the US. The Portuguese islands are absolutely spectacular. Really? Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for all these great tips. I mean, honestly, I really wasn't sure what I was going to learn from you, but I have learned so much. Like, I personally hope that I can be your friend so you can help me book flights. <laughs> you, you, I am anointing you. You're officially a points girl. I yes. am here to Thank help. You. Bottom line, everyone, use your points. Get out there and travel. There are some amazing deals to be had. So I am so inspired now to explore the world. I mean, I would love to go to Greece. Like, that is my dream to go to Greece.